To hang the door, lift and slide the door sash assembly to allow the sash hinge adjuster to slide between the outer frame hinge. Pass the hinge pins through both hinge parts. Ensure the slot mark in the hinge pin points away from the sash. You might need to tap each pin down using a mallet. Don't fit the outer hinge cover and sash hinge cover caps yet, as adjustments may be required later. At this point, you can tighten the grub screws. Fit the door handles and cylinder. Vertical adjustment is achieved by inserting the Allen key into socket 1 and turning it clockwise to lift the door sash. Horizontal, front to back adjustment can be achieved by inserting the Allen key into socket 2 and turning 90 degrees in either direction to adjust the compression of the door sash. Note that the pin grub screw needs to be removed to allow this adjustment. Horizontal, left to right adjustment can be achieved by inserting the Allen key into socket 3 and turning clockwise to move the sash inwards or anti-clockwise to move the sash outwards. Fit the outer hinge cover once the adjustments have been made. The chute bolt keeps have an adjustable top plate. Loosen the locking screws on each plate prior to adjustment. On the slave door, adjust the top section so that this door is pulled into the frame tightly, ensuring that they're re-tightened afterwards. Adjust the master door keep as required to ensure that the door latching and locking operate smoothly. When both door sashes are in place, you can connect the restrictor arm assemblies. Locate the button on the sliding arm into the receptor of the fixed restrictor assembly. Push upwards until the button snaps into place. Tighten the restrictor arm lock using the 2mm Allen key.